Uh, it's, my, uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, take this opportunity to share with you uh, the, uh, the design of our curriculum and uh, I think more importantly the thoughts behind the, this kind of design. And this curriculum is, is basically an outcome of a collective effort of, among all my colleagues. Uh, we hope that it can capture and reflect the uh, state of the art in of the field so that we can equip our students with better engineering education to meet the foreseeable uh, strong demands from the industry and uh, society. Okay. Um, I think the previous two talks uh, elaborate a lot about uh, the interesting applications of uh, uh, FinTech. Um, it, it is undeniable that the technology actually is rapidly changing the nature of our financial service industry. Um, it profoundly uh, impacts the ways and uh, the behaviors how people say, uh, making their payments online and offline. They, uh, uh, how they st uh, store how they store and um, uh, manage their wealth, and how they finance their uh, businesses. Um, now the FinTech is uh, uh, involved to become a very vibrant uh, uh, industry. Uh, I just want to show you some data. Uh, as, uh, this, uh, the, this figure, I just uh, took it from uh, a survey uh, conducted, uh, conducted by uh, Accenture a very famous IT consulting firm. As you can see, um, uh, last year, uh, the year of uh, uh, 2015, uh, the total investment in the whole industry globally uh, just doubled on the level of uh, 2014. Uh, so you can, uh, uh, and uh, it is estimated that this number was surged up to for uh, 46 billion US dollars by 2020. So uh, 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 tremendous opportunities uh, and uh, challenges, of course, are waiting us ahead. But I also would like to point out one alarming uh, signal you can see from this uh, picture. Uh, if you pay attention to the detail of the figure, uh, uh, up to 2014, and the uh, Asian Pacific region, Asian Pacific region showing in blue, is sort of lagging behind, say, the United States and Europe. And you can see a quite significant catching up uh, uh, occurring from 2014 to 2015. However, this kind of uh, catching up Mainly, contribu uh, mainly contributed by mainland China, India, and Singapore. Hong Kong is not in the list. So I think for us, Hong Kong as an international uh, uh, financial hub, the challenge is more significant and serious. If we don't act uh, soon, we will lose immediately, uh, we will lose very quickly the long-run com uh, competitiveness. Okay. Um, I, I prepare several uh, small examples. I, uh, I need to go through all of them uh, by overwhelming you how exciting and interesting uh, FinTech would be uh, as, a, uh, as a newly emerging industry. I just want to echo here uh, uh, the talks uh, given by Dr. Wang and uh, Mr. Li. So uh, I think the nature of a FinTech is quite unique. The nature of FinTech is mm, like a double-edged sword. So on one hand, uh, people can enjoy uh, the FinTech significantly improves the end user service experience. Say we can easily transfer money across board, as mentioned by Mr. Li in his talk making our financial industry more inclusive and productive. 
But on the other hand, it all, new technologies also impose very significant or crucial challenge about how to understand and analyze social benefits or risks economically, technologically, and legally. Uh, for instance, you can easily abuse the system, say, by taking, uh, by, uh, transferring, uh, by, by using uh, blockchain technology to transfer illegal money through uh, you know, internet. So I think the key to meet such kind of opportunities and challenges uh, is on the shoulder of our young talents. And such kind of a consideration, two sides uh, of this uh, new technology or, 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 or this uh, new emergent, newly emerging field will drive us a lot uh, when we design uh, our curriculum. Um, this is the mission of our program. Uh, uh, by this, we want to articulate our purpose. Here, through this program, we don't want to train IT programmers, a nerd just knowing, say, uh, engineering stuff. We, all, uh, we don't want to train financial salespersons. <laughs> what we want to achieve is that what we want to uh, nurture is a person who has uh, very solid uh, training and background in mathematics and engineering. And meanwhile, he or she should remain sensitive or insightful of the big picture of the fintech. And he or she can take up the role of, uh, say, leader, innovator, and entrepreneur in the future, for the future growth of fintech, especially in Hong Kong. To accomplish this uh, mission, uh, we structure the, the curriculum in the following ways. Uh, so, uh, we, after, uh, after some fundamental training uh, offered by faculty package for foundation courses, uh, students are required to take required courses, three, uh, 30 units of uh, uh, required courses, and 15 units of elective courses. And also, academic research and uh, pra industrial practice are both essential components in this study. And uh, finally, students need to take uh, two units of legal courses. We, saw, uh, we think legal perspective is very important for the, uh, the, the health growth of um, uh, our uh, field. And uh, here I strongly agree with uh, Mr. Lee. Uh, uh, our uh, uh, program basically is run by the Department of System Engineering and Engineering Management, as uh, Professor Helen Long mentioned in, his, in her talk, uh, this department uh, uh, is proud of our uh, multidisciplinary uh, training. So we, uh, we believe, strongly believe, that such kind of training can benefit our students a lot. Uh, so we, uh, so uh, through uh, this uh, program, we try to emphasize, or we try to enhance training in the following aspects. Uh, IT infrastructure, data science, operations research, and computing, aiming to various uh, financial applications. Um, uh, here, I just list uh, in detail uh, of some uh, representative courses. For instance, if you are interested in payment system, you can take the uh, introduction to financial infrastructure, uh, cybersecurity, blockchain, as mentioned by Dr. Wang. And uh, you also be, uh, will be trained to learn, uh, will be trained in data analytics. So how to use big data analytics to extract information, uh, useful information uh, from large scale data sets. And based on uh, such kind of information, you can uh, use uh, methodologies from operations research and decision science to make better decisions. And finally, of course, computa uh, computing ability and financial applications are not 
uh, are very, very crucial for the, uh, for the acknowledgement, uh, for the development of the knowledge base. And also, uh, this program features a very strong collaboration uh, you know, between the faculty of engineering and other factors, such as uh, business administration, law, and social science. For instance, as I mentioned, the FinTech, uh, FinTech regulation and legal policy, this kind of uh, course can offer you better training in legal uh, aspects. Uh, as you may know, last year, uh, mainland China, a lot of many of P and P, uh, many of P two P lending firms turn out to be fraudulent uh, fundraising platforms. This is very alarming. Technically, it can be used for good of our uh, welfare for uh, of this, uh, the whole society, but sometimes it can be used very bad in a very bad way. So we, uh, through such kind of bigger, uh, bigger picture training, we want to ensure our students you know, to be uh, more insightful about the business and the legal environment of uh, the, business, the, the, the industry of uh, FinTech. Okay. Uh, and of, uh, also, uh, the program will organize some uh, internship and overseas. Uh, exchanges, uh, opportunities for our students to encourage them to apply theory to practice. Basically, FinTech is applied science. You need, uh, you, you, not, uh, you uh, need to know not only the theory, but also applications. How to change, how to use uh, technology innovation to change the world. And uh, of course, uh, here we need to thank uh, great uh, support from Hong Kong MA and Astri. So we will uh, uh, work very closely with the, the, both of them and to, uh, in terms of uh, academic research, in terms of education, in terms of uh, the internship. And uh, we also will seek accreditation uh, with, uh, from the Hong Kong IE and as well as the recognition of other relevant uh, professional bodies and financial institutions. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think uh, Mr. Lee has already highlighted this uh, in his uh, talk. Uh, here I'd like to add one more. And, uh, I just uh, uh, know uh, right before, I just knew right before the start of this ceremony uh, from uh, Dennis Lee from Astrid. Astrid uh, separately will offer 100 uh, uh, positions of internship every year for FinTech. So great uh, opportunities here ahead of us. And this is a learning outcome of uh, our uh, FinTech uh, program. Uh, of course, it's too long. I don't uh, require you to read uh, through it. Uh, here, I just want to uh, uh, emphasize how, uh, my point again. So we just want to train talents with solid engineering training, good communication skills, creative thinking, crit uh, critical thinking, and uh, social uh, responsibility. This is pretty much what, I want to say, what we want to say to this uh, outcome statement. Okay. And uh, uh, finally, I would like to say uh, some words about the career perspective of this new program. Uh, as I mentioned uh, before, many opportunities are waiting for us down the road, uh, especially for our Asian economies. Uh, so Hong Kong actually has a very suitable environment for the growth of uh, FinTech. Uh, you can see uh, Deloitte uh, rank us among, uh, number five among global top five FinTech hubs. Singapore, of course, is uh, before us, so uh, we need to catch up. And uh, secondly, uh, uh, Hong Kong uh, SAR government pri uh, prioritizes the fintech development a lot. Uh, a lot. Uh, for instance, in, uh, to, in policy address 2000, uh, 2016, uh, released by the uh, Hong Kong uh, government, um, the government is working very hard uh, with the financial industry, uh, uh, sector and uh, uh, academic uh, institutions to develop Hong Kong into a financial technology hub. And also Hong Kong MA uh, as a regulator of the industry, the 
uh, initiate a lot of uh, uh, initiate uh, start a lot of uh, initiatives to launch the health growth of the industry. Um, once again, I uh, no, I just uh, took one figure from uh, the Accenture report. Uh, so uh, this uh, picture shows you the, the, the rise and the decline uh, in the trend of this uh, uh, this uh, very dynamic field. So as you can see, payment is uh, very full, uh, sort of getting mature, dominated by a lot of uh, several big names such as Apple Pay, such as Android, uh, Android Pay, such as uh, uh, Amazon Pay. And uh, uh, some new uh, some new opportunities arise in P two P lending, in asset management, in insurance, in regulation. How to use technology uh, for help you know, to help regulators to detect uh, malicious uh, behavior from the financial market uh, very very interesting and uh, challenging. So put, your, uh, put you in perspective, uh, our first graduate will come in five years. So I strongly believe that uh, by, uh, by then the, 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 the solid uh, training from offered by our program will enable you to take such kind of job very comfortably. And also, um, program uh, graduates uh, will be very ideally suited for the positions that require strongly technical, technological, uh, technological and uh, quantitative skills. As I mentioned by Mr. Lee, it's very, very important uh, uh, the future financial talents should uh, be equipped with two-handed uh, knowledge. You need to know IT, you also need to know business. So our graduates can play a very uh, uh, significant role bridging these two knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge domains, talking, uh, uh, I mean, connecting IT deliverables and uh, business opportunities or requirements. And besides uh, the traditional careers in the financial service industry, the graduates will be also very competitive for jobs in you know, the innovative uh, nature. I list several here, and uh, I, uh, I think uh, both, uh, both Dr. Wang and Mr. Lee have talked a lot, so I just skip there. And finally, of course, if you are interested in advanced studies in say, uh, uh, then uh, this, kind of, this program will also, also will offer you a solid foundation. Okay, I think that's all for my introduction. Thank you.